Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, Del Chanel's 4 Days World with her co-host, The Family. Yeah. Yes, the family weighs in in the comment section. They tell me what they think about subject, subject, topic, and we go from there. But hey, U.S. Weekly picked up a story on these two. Yep, these two knuckleheads. Yes, and he's still, boy, I tell you that. Every time I look at Pete Davidson, he looked like he would on smoke something. Something illegal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she always said Kanye was a uh, strange character. <laughs> but the story is out there on social media that Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson split after less than one year of dating. I mean, who could have foreseen this? I, I didn't think they were going to last. I didn't think they were a real couple. So, I don't know why the masses were gooped, okay? Don't really know. But we get this story from Eli e Eliza, Eliza Thompson. Yes, I tell you, that boy, he's a strange character. Very strange character, but a lot of people felt Kanye West was a strange person. Well, why don't we just say, take, don't even think about the man, think about the woman. Kim is highly suspect because she's getting on Kanye doing this, that, and the third with the kids. He ain't acting right. He, he could be a danger to the kids, but you got Pete Davidson. A person you ain't even known for a year to be sitting out there taking your kids to the cheesecake factory and i heard they was over there at some toy store was it target he had guardianship over them that particular day or weekend i'm like kim are you crazy you barely even know this person okay haven't been dating him uh no year plus but you're gonna allow you and kanye's kids to be subjected to being around him and his comings and goings. Now, who's the fool, people? Who is the fool in this situation? Okay, but going into the article that was tattooed on, what's his name? Pete Davidson? My girl is a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, only name only. I wouldn't try to go uh, secure her for my attorney if I was uh, going to get something legal. Wouldn't happen. Mm -mm, wouldn't happen, wouldn't happen, wouldn't happen. But uh, it says the end of an era. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson have called it quits after less than one year of dating. Multiple sources confirmed to us weekly. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson officially official relationship timeline. Mm, I don't really want to go into the timeline. We ain't really that vested in this story. We just had to come across our feed. And I said, shoot, why don't we talk about her for a moment? You know, I'm always talking about my brown people and stuff of that nature. Why don't we get on to my Caucasian friends, okay? Because we ain't racist. We like talking about everybody. Anybody that strike our, uh, inst well, we come strike, strike our curiosity, we got to be there. We got to be nose as hell. Now, I wonder what Caitlyn slash Bruce Jenner thinks about this. Because you remember, she, he was out there talking about he liked it or she liked it. Um, what's his name? Pete Davidson. She was a better person. Uh, I mean, Kim was a better person with him. And I was like, really? Really? The comedian, huh? The Saturday Night Live and all these crazy skits. Him. But Kanye, from what people say, is a genius in the music industry. He knows how to make money, and he's made Kim plenty of money in the past. So I really don't understand, but I, I want to understand what does Caitlyn Jenner slash Bruce Jenner feels about the breakup. Because she liked it. Pete over Kanye, and Kanye accepted her new transition she found or he found himself in okay very accepting of him being who he feels he needs to be and not what the world has assigned him to as being bi biologically born okay but getting off that it says um 
The amicably split this week, an insider told us of the Kardashian Star 41 and the Saturday Night Live alarm 28. Okay. Mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. But out there in them YouTube streets, they weren't even a couple less than two or three months. So I don't understand what the timeline is talking about because he never seemed like he was truly happy with her. And her with him. Not really. It's like she was just putting an end to a means or a means to an end. To have a, a somebody that she could uh, pretty much show around as like a boy toy or something to that degree. And, I, you know, uh, Pete Davidson, he was, uh, what do you call it, uh, dating Aria Grande at one time, wasn't he? Hmm. But anyway, the Hulu personality and the comedian were first linked in October 2021 after Kardashian made her hosting debut on Saturday Night Live doing one sketch the California native and the guy code alum shared a kiss in character as a Jasmine and Aladdin respectfully. Now like what is Kim uh, doing now? I mean she put herself out there as a mogul boss of the entertainment industry when it comes to reality TV on uh, and her uh, mother definitely pimping them out and drilling in them that we got to make this money, we got to make this money, we got to make this money type of scenario. Okay. But, um, I don't think Kim was too happy with that either. That's why she pretty much got away and caught herself getting away from him. I mean, her and marrying Kanye, which I never found the uh, real true interest of why she was doing that. But I do know that the Kardashian family like black men. So, it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let me see. Jay, stop that noise. And we'll go on back to the article. It says, though the Skims founder and a New York native initially kept their romance on the wraps, the pair became more generous with glimpses into the relationship as time went on. And I think this Kim just kind of used him as a stepping stone to get into a comedian type world where she was over there at Saturday Night Live doing some things and he probably just tried to make her feel real comfortable and all that and since she got tired of Kanye and she wanted like a break from Kanye she just my 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 understanding is or the, my take on it, I think she just used him just to um have somebody on her arm such as arm candy not really interested in him but then probably trying to make kanye jealous as well so i was like kim 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 you silly silly girl you silly silly girl but anyway um going back to the article it says the king of staten island actor and the reality star went instagram official in march the long-awaited confirmation came on the heels of countless comments from the former E Star's ex-husband, Kanye West, who made his hatred towards Davidson and his desire to get back with Kardashian, Kardashian well-known. Okay, two months later, the entrepreneur and the Suicide Squad actor made their red carpet debut at the 2022 Met Gala and the cute, loved-up Instagram post kept on coming in July. The Kardashians viewers got their first peek of Davidson on the show. Okay. And that was on season two of their trailer. It said, Babe, do you want to jump into the shower with me real quick? Kardashian asked her then boyfriend in the clip which saw him immediately drop everything he was holding and rushed after her. More recently, however, the duo's romance became long distance. As da Davidson had been in Australia filming the upcoming movie, Wizards, the Keeping Up With Kardashians alum recently paid her beau a visit, but for the most part, they've been communicating via video chats and emails. They said each other, they sent each other love notes while the other is sleeping and FaceTime whenever they schedule link-ups. And this was an insider told uh, U.S. Weekly early this month. The distance have been hard, but even communicating long distance is exciting, but uh, where well, it's exciting for them. All right. Last month, the dirt actor called or the dirt actor told Kevin Hart that he was fine with a massive amount of attention. Their romance has attracted over the several. Wait a minute. Their romance has attracted over the last several months. I don't mind. I know what it comes with. Davidson explains during the July premiere episode of Heart to Heart. I totally get it because when whatever I get to do is sick. If that's all you have to deal with, then whatever. 
uh, the meet cute star went on to say that he hopes marriage and fatherhood are in his future. I'm definitely a family guy, he explained. My favorite thing ever, which I had yet to achieve. Uh, I want to have kids. That's my dream. Kardashian, for her part, shared North 9, St. 6, Chicago 4, and Psalm 3 with West 45. The selfish actor was declared legally single in March after filing for divorce from the rapper in February of 2021. But even when, uh, and this is my take on it, uh, no longer in the article, we're finished with the article. Uh, quite boring. Uh, the article was made up by this particular person who uh, works for U.S. Magazine. Just put the facts, I and mean, that's all it really was, of what we could understand of Pete Davidson and um, Kim Kardashian's relationship. But like I said, I think it was a farce of relationship. I think she just wanted to make Kanye mad, which she did succeed in doing that. And with the help of, I guess, some therapists, Kanye finally got his stuff together and stopped paying attention to her. And then it seems like the whole thing was unraveling right before her eyes, meaning the fake farce relationship full of foolishness, fake refuckery, <coughs> fraudulent behavior going on. Okay? My four Fs in poor form. Because I'm like, Kanye just wanted her to make a fool out of herself, which she did, even though she thought she was making a fool out of Kanye by doing those tricks and trades about, you know, not letting him see his kids and this, that, and the third. Because we know Kanye had never had a problem with his children or anything like that. He loves his kids. He wants to be with his kids all the time. And for the most part, Kim should be definitely throwing them kids at him so she could have some time. But, you know, I think he... Or someone said he probably wanted to go back with her, which I just don't see why he would want to do a dangerous thing such as that. But, you know, cooler heads have prevailed, and foolishness definitely can find its way to people's homes as well. But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Uh, definitely get down in those comments, and let's talk about this situation, okay? Because, uh, like I said, I never thought it was a real relationship anyway. I can't believe they almost went a year with this um, mess of a storyline that they were a couple because he wants to have children but he don't want them with Kim. Kim don't bargain herself out the door. Who gonna want her with all them damn kids? And they young too? Child. Pete Davidson ain't even for that ride. <laughs> but I would love to see who he would pair himself up with in the upcoming months. I would love to see that. But that's all for this video guys and I'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.